everyone, I'm Jill of Nick Hab with Healthy Facts. Thanks for shopping local and we are making some wonderful vegan sugar cookies today. This recipe was slightly altered from the minimalist baker. Baked some last night and they were so delicious and there's a lovely frosting too. Sometimes you just really want a really good sugar cookie and these are nice and versatile. Want to get your butter to room temperature? And if you slice the butter, that will help a little bit if uh, you don't want to wait too, too long. And I did also mix this, this cookie mix last night in a hand blender. I didn't have my lovely friend's KitchenAid here. It's all my cookie stuff's in Michigan. Anyway, all right, you're going to put some sugar in with the butter. We have some organic cane sugar there and a little bit of brown sugar. And then we also have some pumpkin puree, and this is going to be uh, another ingredient here. Let me get the butter and sugar going. Once your butter and sugar is together, you can add your pumpkin. Then we add a teaspoon of vanilla. I don't know if it's the vanilla or the type of brown sugar, I'm not sure, but this happened to me last night, even with my hand mixer, and um, it's happening to me again, but it didn't really seem to matter. But it didn't really, um, it looks kind of like it's separated a little bit, my wet ingredients, my butter, and my, um, my sugar. I don't know if you can see this, but it's not like as totally creamy smooth as you would think it might look. It's kind of like looks a little spotty, but... It worked when that happened last night, so I imagine it's going to work just fine today. I did also did not sift it last night. I made it, and still the results were just fine. So I'm not a big fan of like a lot of extra steps and things. So if I can avoid sifting, I usually will. Ooh. But I uh, thought I'd try it today. I'm going to add some cornstarch, egg replacer powder, the powdered sugar, I'm sorry, the um, baking soda, baking powder, a little bit of salt, and I'm just going to try hand mixing this for a minute because I think, I don't even think we really need to use the, uh, the mixer here. This is a pretty easy cookie recipe. I think you, you could probably even do it without any equipment at all, just like in one, one bowl. Um, I don't even know if I added any any liquid. Okay, I just stirred it with my um, spatula, and if you need a wooden spoon because it, it did get pretty thick, I did not add any extra liquid, like milk. Um, so, I'm, but if you feel like you need to, if your recipe is a little bit so thick you can't even stir it, only add liquid like your milk or what have you, like a, a half a teaspoon, a teaspoon at a time because you can overdo it when you have the consistency you want. So this is what the dough looks like. I'm going to put it in the freezer for a little bit or the refrigerator just to help firm it up before we roll it and bake it. Okay, I got the cookie dough from out of the freezer. It's nice and, you know, a little more solid to be able to roll a ball and I'm just going to use, well I think I'm going to roll all my balls first and then maybe go around and pat them down. This is just my idea. If you have a cookie, um, like little cutouts or whatever, that might be great too. There we go, into the oven. When your cookies are cool enough out of the oven, just frost them a little, add a little decoration if you like. Also, you can um, color the frosting naturally by using beet juice or kale juice or carrot juice. And just a little bit of um, that fresh juice there will color slightly the frosting. So that'll be another fun thing that I did not try today. Anyway, I really appreciate you guys being with me. Keep checking back to Healthy Facts for more great recipes and my little videos. I'm Jill of Thanks for watching.